In this video, you're gonna learn how to alter the tempo of a song in Ableton Live using the software's powerful warp mode settings. This video is brought to you by Lead Worship with Ableton, an online course that's gonna walk you through step-by-step -step how to use Ableton Live to run a click, backing tracks, and automate lyrics and lighting in worship. Click the link in the description to learn more. Now let's dive into the training. Here I have the song, The Lion and the Lamb. This is an individual song session in Ableton Live arrangement view. This is how I run all of my backing tracks in a worship environment. The first thing you're going to want to make sure you have is a master tempo clip. It's an audio clip that I have right here. It's a blank audio clip. It produces no sound, and it's on an audio track, obviously, because it's an audio clip. And what this is going to do is it's going to set the master tempo of your Ableton. Ableton Live project. This comes in handy when you want to use Ableton Live's built-in metronome and you're going to be building Ableton Live song sets with multiple songs at different tempos and you want the metronome to follow along with the right tempo of a particular song. So I created another video about the tempo clip that gets a little bit more in depth to how it works. And if you do not have a tempo clip and you don't know how to make one yourself, I created a free download for you. The link for that is in the description of this video. It's going to be an Ableton Live project called the Tempo Project. And load that onto your hard drive and get that into your file browser here. And you see I have mine right here. It's in my collection of templates I use in Ableton Live. I'm going to drop down the folder. Now Navigate all the way down this file structure until you get to the audio clip that you're going to use as your tempo clip. And I'm going to pretend like we didn't have this here. So I have a blank audio track right here. I'm going to select this audio file, drag it here, and then I'm going to drag this to the end of the song. Zoom in here real quick and line it up with the end of the other tracks. And now we have our tempo clip in place. It's ready to go. The next step is to make sure all of the audio clips you want to alter have warp mode enabled and that within warp mode, they are in the slave setting. To make sure you have those settings right, double click on one of the audio clips to bring up the clip view down here. And then make sure all of your audio clips have warp mode enabled here. So warp is yellow and then it has the slave button underneath and that can be gray. That means it's in slave mode. So what you can do is go through and just command click on all of the audio files that you want to transpose. And I have all these already in the right setting. If for some reason this button is half gray and half yellow, just click it a couple times until it says warp. And then same thing with this, click it until it says slave. And then down here, select complex or complex pro if you have Ableton Live standard or suite, or you can select the tones setting down here if you are using Ableton Live intro. So now the tempo of these audio clips are ready to be altered. Next, go ahead and select the tempo clip up here that's going to set the master tempo of the song. In the settings down here, you're going to see segment BPM. Go ahead and enter in the original tempo of the song. For this song, it was 90 beats per minute. After you have the original tempo of the song in place here, go ahead to the slave button and click on it, and it's going to turn to master. So what this means is that this clip is now going to set the master tempo for Ableton Live. It's not only going to alter the tempo of these other audio clips that were in slave mode, but it's also going to alter the tempo of Ableton Live's built-in metronome. So I'll play the song from the beginning so you can hear what the original tempo sounds like at 90 beats per minute. One, two, one, two. Two, and notice three, that Ableton four. Live's built-in metronome is at 90 beats per minute. Intro. I can even add some eighth notes in there. Intro. So that's what it sounds like originally. Now let's alter the tempo of the song. Click on the master tempo clip to bring up clip view down here. And then what you're going to do in segment BPM is type in the desired tempo of the song. So let's say we want this song at 100 beats per minute. You'll notice just because I type it in, it does not yet change the tempo of this song. What you need to do is toggle the master button. So hit it once, turn it back on. 
And now you'll see that Ableton Live's tempo did change to 100, and it has the little red dot here, which I believe is just indicating that the tempo was changed by our master tempo clip right here. And if you didn't see that change happen, go ahead and just click anywhere in the scrub area to play the song from somewhere else, and usually this will change if this is all set up right down here. So now let's listen to the song at 100 beats per minute. And I could go in here and type in whatever tempo I want. Let's do something ridiculous like 200 beats per minute. I'll toggle that again. It sounds ridiculous. I don't know why you would ever want to alter the tempo that much. Let's slow the tempo down. That's incredibly painful. Realistically, let's go back to our original tempo here at 90. Realistically, you might just want to make a slight adjustment to the tempo. I personally prefer just doing them in the tempo that they were recorded in. I'm not fussy like that, but let's say, oh, we want it in 90 two beats per minute or something like that to go ahead and put in the number toggle the master button there and now we're at 92 so again i just want to reiterate we have the master tempo clip selected and then we're altering the segment bpm down here make sure warp mode is on and that the master button is enabled right here and that all the other audio clips are in slave mode so that's how you alter the tempo of not only the other audio files in ableton project but also ableton lives built in metronome well that wraps up the lead worship with ableton quick tip i have for you today if you are serious about implementing ableton live in your worship ministry, I want to invite you to check out my online course, Lead Worship with Ableton. It's linked below in the description. This training is going to walk you through click by click, step by step, how to use Ableton Live to run a click, tracks, and automate lighting and lyrics and worship. It's also packed with a bunch of time-saving tips that are going to save you a bunch of headaches as you use Ableton Live on a week-to-week -week basis in your ministry. If you found this video helpful, hit that thumbs up button and share it with your friends who use Ableton. You can check out some other Ableton Live videos right over here. And don't forget to subscribe to the Church Front channel so you can continue to receive all of our latest content to help you grow yourself and grow your church.